hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me those who are new to this channel my name is Shiluba Mashela and today I am back with another video on this video I'll be doing a purple cut crease makeup tutorial guys don't forget to leave your comments down below give this video a very big thumbs up and kindly subscribe I take my Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette Take the dark purple, apply on my crease using a small eyeshadow brush. I just do a straight line on my crease. I don't drag it downwards to the eyelids or I don't take it upwards to the brow bone. And then I put more products and I also uh, went in with another shade of purple, a darker, more darker purple because that one was not that pigmented. Yeah, you can see now it shows more than the first one. And I drag it, like I take it outwards. I pack it in, pack it in so that it becomes a bit darker. And then I take my uh, blending brush. I go in with the lighter purple to blend that darker purple guys make sure when you blend a uh, darker eyeshadows you blend until you are satisfied you give yourself time to blend and then I take a clean brush and blend the lighter purple and then I also go in again with that uh, small blending brush over my crease to put more product of the darker purple i take the la girl concealer in the shade fawn to make a cut crease i pull my eyelids outwards to get a perfect cut crease because i have hooded eyelids Make sure to be patient when you are doing a cut crease and you can also look up and then your where your eyes, um, your concealer uh, will touch on your eyelids. It's where your cut crease will be. It is simpler when you do it that way. And then make sure guys, you must be patient. Give yourself time to do this when this cut crease can be so messy when you don't give yourself time. And then I blend it a bit using my beauty blender. I take um, this small uh, eyeshadow brush to define the crease a bit. Then now I'm gonna use my uh, setting spray to spray my uh, flat brush so that uh, my shimmer uh, comes out uh, pigmented on my eyelids and then I apply that on my eyelids I pack it in uh, it is not that pigmented so I really have to take time in picking it in so that it will show on my eyelids and then also guys give yourself time when you are doing uh, this cut crease and then when you are even applying the eyeshadow over the concealer give yourself time because it can be really messy You see now I, I it is showing the way I want and then I'm going in on the other eye with the purple shimmer. I apply more products, I apply more products and I make sure I am careful and I apply it over the 
concealer. Uh, my camera was off, sorry, when I applied my primer. And then now I'm going in with uh, my Maybelline Superstay uh, foundation. This foundation is very full coverage. Two to three pumps goes a long way. It's enough to cover the whole face a little goes a long way. I am... You applying it using my beauty blender guys make sure you blend until you are satisfied drag it uh, downwards to your neck as well so your your neck matches your face and I use my LA girl concealer in the shade fawn to highlight my under eyes my chin my forehead and my nose I blend it using the same beauty blender uh, I used to blend my foundation and I start with my forehead because uh, now that it's winter this concealer dries up quickly or you can blend as you go like you apply over your under your eyes and then you blend your nose you blend like that but I choose to uh, apply then blend everything after and I leave some uh, concealer over my nose. And then I use um, a Yardley Translucent Setting Powder to set. I love this setting powder. It's so smooth. And those who were watching my previous videos, they know that I don't like baking. <laughs> I don't bake. I just apply over my, my face and immediately... Uh, blend it with that beauty blender I take uh, my NYX bronzer uh, to contour my face I make sure I contour more on the hairline and I use a small uh, fluffy brush to apply my contour Contour that hairline, contour that hairline. So it really matches, uh, I can say, your skin tone or it really matches your skin. Then I contour my nose, reduce my big nose. Then I take uh, the darker paper, apply it over my lower eyelids. Then I take uh, my wet and wild blush to apply on my cheeks just a little bit. And then I define my contour using a translucent setting powder. Then I set my face using Maybelline Fit Me Powder. It, it, it's really matte and it holds everything in place. I used a Rimmel setting spray, my camera was not recording that. And then I used um, LA Girl Highlighter Palette to highlight my face. I went a little over with the highlight on this look and it was really nice. I also highlight my brow bone to define my eyebrows. And then I also highlight my upper lip. I love doing this. And then guys, don't put too much highlighter on your nose. But on this look, I went a little bit over with the highlighter. And then I also highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Then I take the black upper eyebrow pencil as my lip liner. It's 
it's in the shade dark brown. And then I use Essence Liquid Matte Lipstick. It, they say it's matte, but it's not that matte. It's just okay on the lips. And then I also take that eyebrow pencil again, just to apply some more. There, guys. Voila. Done.